Welcome back to the Prison Architect tutorial series here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. This episode is going to cover four different rooms. We are going to cover mail, the library, the chapel, and the shop. Now, mail and the library are both fairly simple, which is why we're going to be able to burn through several rooms in one uh, cut here. So with mail, the only requirements are that the room is at least five by five. It's got to have a table and a sorting desk. So the tables are where, you know, the mail satchels will come in. Unsorted mail actually is what comes in. It's placed and sorted into mail satchels and then taken for delivery. Like you can see a guard here is delivering mail. Sometimes workers can do that, but essentially what you usually will have is just one worker in here sorting the mail, getting it into the satchels, placing it on a table, and then someone is going to take it and deliver it. The only kind of contraband, as far as I read, that can come into the room is scissors. So while you definitely want to have a metal detector, you probably don't need to have like a canine, for example. It isn't a bad idea to have a guard there because if there's anywhere that contraband can come in, you probably want to have a guard. Uh, also, be sure to just use a regular door for the mail room. If it's a room that your prisoners are going to have access to for prison labor or for free time, there's no reason to have a staff door as it just kind of messes with the efficiency and the flow of traffic. So that's that. The library, very similar to the mail room in terms of the requirements. It's got to be five by five. You have to have a sorting desk. And then you need library shelves, or I think there are like short bookshelves that you can use or something along those lines. Uh, but library shelves <clears throat> are probably the more prudent de decision there. You want to have a metal detector because books being brought into the facility can um, contain contraband. Although, again, from what I read, the only kind of contraband that comes in here are scissors. So... You probably just need a regular guard as opposed to a canine. On to the chapel. <clears throat> chapel is important because, well, we'll get into why. But starting with the requirements, it's got to be six by six. Has to have a pew, an altar, and a prayer mat. Now, the chapel, obviously, the objective here is that it is going to fulfill their spirituality need. Like you see that it's lit up green right there and going upward. So that's good. That's kind of what it is, um, you know, meant to do. Now, also, um, this is where you will have the spiritual guidance program take place. So you have to set it up in the reports tab, go to programs, and then you will have, wait for it, spiritual guidance. Now, we've got a bunch that are in there. It's a pass-fail type scenario. You probably, now that I think about it, Let's get this guard out. You don't need a guard or, contra or a metal detector because there is no contraband coming into or out of this room, essentially. Maybe it could come in here, but it's being brought in from somewhere else. Uh, it's not like something is getting delivered in here that contains contraband and then an inmate can acquire it. So you really don't need a metal detector in here. Probably don't need CCTV. And you probably also don't necessarily need a guard. But I guess hypothetically a fight could break out in here, so not a terrible idea. Now, the one thing that I will note in terms of the spiritual guidance program is that inmates that go through that program will have a calming effect on other inmates in the, in the prison. So that is a huge bonus there. If you can get guys in here taking that spiritual guidance course, they will go and basically spread the, the, the good word, so to speak. So that's cool. Uh, last but not least in terms of coverage of rooms that we are going to discuss is the shop. The shop has got to be 4x4 four four minimum. has to have a table, a shop shelf, and it has to have an adjacent shop front. So you can see here, someone's going to sit at this desk and they're going to sell stuff through a little window, basically, to inmates that come here and line up. Now, I learned through research that you can have multiple shop fronts. So if, like, if this serving table wasn't right here, I could put another shop front and have two 
lane, you know, checkout lanes, so to speak. So that's something that you can keep in mind depending on the layout of your facility. Um, contraband can absolutely uh, come out of this place. You will definitely want a metal detector. I don't have a guard stationed in there, but I probably should because that's a good idea. Also, maybe not a terrible idea for that guard to be a canine variety because um, uh, that certainly can't hurt, any, hurt anything. Now, the shop is an interesting room because it does have a couple of positive benefits. And what I call like two-for-one goodness here, you've got the ability to make money off of the sales of these items. So your inmates work in prison labor. They get a little bit of money for that, and then they can spend it here on the shop in the shop and you actually get a cut of that revenue or whatever i guess you probably get all of it except for what you need to then turn around and spend on prison labor so anyway you get money from it and then also the goods that they buy will help satisfy needs like hygiene food uh luxuries what else recreation and comfort so you get a lot of benefits out of it however there is a negative effect on the participation level in reform programs if you have a shop, which is kind of interesting. I don't necessarily know how that would play into things other than inmates will go to the shop when they have free time. And if you have programs set up in your regime where it is work slash free time, they might choose going to the shop to buy stuff over one of those programs. And that can have, you know, a detrimental effect on, um, you know, the the inmate calmness and that sort of thing. So I think that's it. I hope that this has been helpful. If you uh, haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.